Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Hoi. Firstly, I want to apologize to all of my viewers and anyone who stumbled across my videos. My intentions were not to provoke anger or resentment or bitterness. I realized that in order for me to reach some of you guys out there who are stuck on this platform, was to put these tags in my videos, to put ridiculous clickbaity titles and sometimes stupid thumbnails just to get clicks, just to get people to come to my channel so I can talk to you guys. As you all know, I have a day job. I have a source of income. I don't make anything out of YouTube. The point of my YouTube channel is not to exploit you guys or to make money. I will never become a sellout. I will never promote other people's products on my channel. I will not put an ad in the middle of my video because I view this more of a relationship. I want to grow with you guys. I want to walk this journey with you and I want to see you succeed. It brings me a lot of meaning into my life. Seeing my audience tell me, oh, today is a good day because um, they've done these things and now they are becoming more fulfilled. They become more true to themselves. That's what brings me fulfillment in my life. That's my purpose. So that's why I want to reach people. Real talk, I don't think I will ever make money from YouTube and that's okay. That's okay. The whole point of this is to reach people and to talk to you guys. And that's why I put these tags in my videos. As you all know, I post a lot of controversial videos and I, I am very open to sharing my experiences and to sharing what I think about the world, how I feel about different people, different situations and my personal beliefs and what I would have done in certain situations I'm open to do doing that um, I am not trying to push any sort of agenda upon you guys and as you all know if you're smart enough to be on YouTube to be watching these sort of videos I think you know that I'm not trying to do any of this I'm not trying to push anything down anyone's throat. I'm just voicing my opinion. Freedom of speech, right? Well, up to a certain point. There are certain things that you cannot say on YouTube without being deplatformed, and I'll try my best not to reach that point. But overall, I think I stand for free speech and that you should be able to express your opinions in a respectful manner. And to be respectful of other people who, are, who might be watching your videos. I'm sorry if I come across as being pushy or inconsiderate or not having any empathy because that's not who I am, sorry. You will never know another person as well as they themselves know themselves, okay? And because you haven't walked um, a mile in my shoes before. You haven't lived my life. You don't know where I stand and you don't know me as well as I know myself. I posted a poll recently asking you guys to rate yourself and to see what is your most salient feature what is the best feature about yourself? And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. A lot of my viewers, they rank their appearance at the very least of their most, um, I guess their best qualities. A lot of my viewers think that their kindness is actually the best quality that they possess and also intelligence and I know it's not 24 hours yet I, I have to wait 24 hours to finalize the poll but already from the results I can extrapolate that 
a lot of you guys really value kindness and your intelligence and I respect that. Maybe because a lot of my viewers are also similar to me. They're not exactly the best looking guys. Guys, we are not known for our beauty and that's okay because women are beautiful and that's to be expected. That's biology, that's science, that's religion. We all see female as something that is beautiful. I'm not saying that women cannot be smart or cannot be kind or cannot be rational or all these supposedly good qualities. I'm just saying we men, we are most known for our usefulness and I guess our other qualities other than pure aesthetics. And good news for you guys, you don't have to be the most beautiful guy to be in a relationship. I think one of you commented on my last video about me getting into relationships with girls. I think one of you guys commented, I am at best a 5 out of 10 in terms of looks or whatever, and yet I am still able to pull white girls. What, did that, what does that supposed to mean, man? <laughs> are you saying us Asians are inferior? Are you saying all the races are inferior to white women? I want to rephrase this and say that even a 5 out of 10 guy like me can attract girls. And it's true, it's not for my looks that I actually get into, that I was able to get into relationships with other girls. I think I also have some good qualities, despite me thinking that I am the scum of the earth and I have all these terrible qualities that make me a bad human being. I actually, I still think that I have some good qualities. And I think you guys <laughs> have really good qualities as well. Kindness, it's not something that is valued. Usually to attract people's attention, you, 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 you cannot be nice. You have to be boisterous, you have to be adventurous, you have to be assertive, confident, you have to be successful. And that's true. In order to get the first sort of impression from other people, you need to be a little bit more extroverted, you need to be a bit more forward, and you need to have a little bit more of a masculine personality to sort of get anyone's attention. But I think in the long term, when you start to know each other better, I think most people would actually prefer a guy who is a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more giving, and a little bit more flexible, a little bit more caring and kind. And I think you can overdo both of them. I think you can be too nice, and I think you can be too aggressive. So there needs to be a balance. And that's true. I'm not a very good looking guy. I'm alright. I'm average. But I think my vulnerability and my openness as well as my calm and caring demeanor was what attracted a lot of these girls in the first place. And I think there's truth in all of the, the pills in this manosphere community. There are a lot of truth in the black pill, a lot of truth in the red pill, and a lot of truth in the blue pill. You just need to take what works and apply it to your life. Yeah, listen to different perspectives, respect other people's opinions, and try to keep an open mind. That's all I gotta say. And for me, I want to be nice. It's okay if people trample upon me. It's okay if people walk over me and abuse me. It's okay because I choose to do it. Um, don't you see? You have a control over your life. You can have a control over how you react to things. And 
in the past, I would have been really devastated and resentful when I find out that people abused abused me or abused my kindness and took advantage of me. But now I realized I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry that they felt the need to do that because they don't have a lot of kindness in their life. And that's why it's okay for people to take away things from me. It's okay for me to give up a little bit of myself for others. That's my take on it. And I'm really glad that you guys are here and you guys are watching my journey. And I'm really glad that you guys are also valuing all the more feminine traits. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I hope you're doing well. Stay strong and God bless. And I'll see you in another video. Peace.